On behalf of the Maya and Gail families, but more importantly, on behalf of Don Andrea and Jamie, welcome. Marriage is one of the biggest commitments you'll make in your lifetime. Today, each of you will make a promise to support each other through the good and the bad, for richer and poorer, in sickness and in health. But the two of you have a head start. We've all seen how much you two love each other. We've witnessed you battle illness and face dark days head on as a team. You two have already been forced to face adversity and you've come out better and stronger as a result of it. You've built a home together, and I'm not just talking about purchasing a plot of land with a structure on it, but I'm talking about the life you two have built together on that land and in that house. I'm talking about the love you have shown each other for the last five years, and I'm talking about the family you've already started building with little Maisie girl. Love is a promise that is always kept. Marriage is a commitment to this love, a commitment to finding and bringing out the best in each other. As you hold each other's hands, know that these are the hands of your best friend, full of love, that are holding yours on your wedding day. As you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and every day after that. These are the hands that will take yours as you continue your journey through life. These are the hands that will love you and cherish you through all your years together. The hands that will hold you when fear or grief troubles your mind. The hands that will welcome your family into your home and give you strength when you need it. And finally, these are the hands that as they age, will be reaching for yours and offering the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. I take you, Don Andrea, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. I take you, Jamie, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health until death do us part. And so we come to the presentation of rings by which you symbolize and bind your love. Let the seamless circle of these rings become the symbol of your endless love and unending faithfulness. The circle is a symbol of completeness, a symbol of committed love. An unbroken and never ending circle symbolizes a commitment that is also never ending. I hope that you'll be reminded of the commitment you made today to love each other. I, Jamie, take you to Andrea to be my partner. This ring is a symbol of my commitment to love, honor, and respect you. And it is my promise to love you forevermore. I, Don Andrea, take you, Jamie, to be my partner. This ring is a symbol of my commitment to love, honor, and respect you. And it is my promise to love you forevermore. In the years which shall bring Jamie and Don Andrea into greater age and wisdom, we pray that their love shall be forever young. May you keep the vows made on this day. Be generous, take care to be loving, and always ascribe to a worthy motive to the other. Jamie and Don Andrea, by the power vested in me by the state of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. Congratulations, you may kiss your bride. I couldn't be happier for Jamie and Don Andrea. The love they have for each other is truly something special, and I'm honored to stand up here tonight and be with you both. Don Andrea, I got to grow up with my brother, but you get to grow old with him. So with that, I invite you to raise a glass and a toast to our newly minted couple, Jamie and Don Andrea. Don Andrea and Jamie, I hope today is everything you both wished for in a wedding, and I can't wait to see what else the future holds for you. I love you both so much. So please, Everyone raise your glass. Now, we're gonna raise our glasses for two reasons. One, because I just completed this speech seven months pregnant, and two, for Don Andrea and Jamie, the couple of the decade. There once was a girl from Munchkin City <laughs> who turned into a bride that's extra pretty. She longed for a man who wasn't lame and fell in love with a prince named James. <laughs> <laughs>